a quick trip to the scene of the crime for you guys. So it turns out this board, the uh, key or out of the Icon 735, wasn't too bad. You can see it's not a great board and a couple of the pins didn't even actually have solder. They're not used. So it wasn't horrible to get the chip out. So this is the bad one. And with a stroke of luck, the folks at MFJ decided that they should uh, put the Curtis chip in a socket. <laughs> so I don't have to go pretend that this will be easy to unsolder because it won't. And that way uh, there's no guilt either. It doesn't really wreck the, uh, <laughs> the lovely paste setter keyer. So if I grab a little screwdriver, I think we can get under here maybe and uh, we will start with a little knife that's thinner that kind of works and then we'll see if we can get under further yep that works so we've got an 8038 that we tested and we have the board so I'll go ahead and put that chip in and we'll come back around and I'll show you, I hope, the installation of this keyer. I think I will power it up on the bench though, just before we install it into the radio. Just uh, lessons learned, I guess. So there's a couple of minute update. Thanks for watching. See ya.